So do you have any 60, like extreme flight 60 inch stuff? I yet? don't have any extreme flight stuff yet, no. Not yet, huh? Nope, not yet. I've been watching the videos. Uh, I'd like to add a 60 inch. I'll tell you what, that 60 inch format is really quickly becoming my favorite because they're easy to transport, they present well in the sky, uh, they can deal with some wind. All right, um, let's check think, on the runway. I don't think he has a stabilizer in that plane. Hey, Dave, no stabilizer, right? Oh, no. No stabilizer. I don't own a stabilizer. I do. I don't mind putting a stabilizer in for a day like today. And by the way, here's the wind, in case you guys want to see it. I know we get asked, so there's the wind. Nice track down the runway. Nice takeoff, Dave. Oop. Woo. I haven't seen him do that before. <laughs> uh, we're going to do something else here, but I got it a little slow. We'll do it again here in a minute. I'll show you what I was going to do. All right, go ahead. Okay, so we'll pretend we just took off. Right there. Yeah, the wind is blowing me. We'll pretend we just took off, and what I want to do was this. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. Hey! The clouds really help figure out how much forward airspeed you actually have, which is almost nothing. Yeah, anyway, Dave, these, these uh, 60s, they're just, uh, it's a really nice mix between size and portability, you know? It's kind of what I thought, too. It's a good size. Yep, you can see them. Orientation's really good. They handle the wind, and you're not hauling the big, you know? Yeah, they fly really good. Yeah. See if we can, that's bumpy up there. Yeah. Just a little bumpy with the wind gusting. Nice. And then we'll try to do the cartwheel. See if it'll see if it'll happen. No, <laughs> I didn't want to do the Not cartwheel. Not that time. Oh, uh, we'll try it again. The cartwheel is so funny. I only been able to do it on this airplane, and it happened by accident. Do you want to explain the control inputs to get it into the cartwheel? It's just trying to hold it, with hold the rudder, turn it around, and hold it a little bit with the ailerons. Uh, the elevator would be flat and just try to keep the, the plane, the plateau with the ailerons a little bit. But when you get it just right, all you got to do is just keep the rudder, the throttle, and let everything else neutral. Okay. But you got to kind of enter it just right. Uh, I didn't do it, it did the other uh, one. A little knife edge <laughs> spin. Yeah, it's yeah, knife yeah. edge spin, yeah. When it's, not, when it's not as windy, you can get the cartwheel better because the wind just pushes it over just a hair. We'll try that again. So the timing of the rudder input to the stall is, is the real yes, key. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's the, uh, the uh, pitch roll thing. All right, and then we fly it like a pattern plane. It's very nice and well behaved. Even though a little windy for that. But he likes those four point turns. That's that's a kind of a slow one a little yeah. bit. But we can do a four point roll here in a that's minute. That's pretty. Oh look, a hammerhead with no cheating. Although no. someone did come in and clarify it's not yeah, cheating to use that power. is not cheating, yeah. Let's see. This one is a little more neutral than my pattern plane, so it gets a little crooked on the four point rolls because they do fly a little bit different. But let's see it. Okay, that's one. Two, three, four. There you go. Nice. Yeah, I always remember the hammerheads were within a wingspan. Yeah. And the wing overs were right. if it was greater than a wingspan. Right, yep, right. that is a true thing in the rules. It's got to be one wingspan width. Oh, let's see. We got a little bit of wind, so we should get a really nice elevator on this. Let's do that. And no pendulum swing either. On the hammerhead. Yeah, no, on the downline, no pendulum. 
you get deductions for that. Yep. And a full. And the up. upline and downline have to be parallel too. Look at it. Oh, look at that. That's a beauty. <laughs> from from it my is view, coming straight down. Yeah, my viewpoint, straight down, no forward movement at all. Actually, backwards a little bit. Yeah. Nice. Great day for that maneuver. Ooh, that was brave. It's, uh, it's, you see how it was porpoising? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> but it's, uh, it'll respond. That was not, that was all right. We'll do that again. Now, do you have your rudder on the rates too, or you got full rudder all the time? No, I got different rates and I got different expos. Okay. But I like a lot of rudder all the time with just different expos. Yeah. Let's see if, yeah, the wind is not being very friendly for that one. Yeah. It's pushing me. Yep. Okay. I, and it's pushing me that way. Okay. Yeah. The wind's coming off of our back right yeah. shoulder, yeah. so yeah. it's pushing you out away from you a little bit. Yes, it is. Wind's blowing now. <laughs> it's just fun. It's just fun to do. Oh, it does the flat, the flat turn pretty good too. Now, I don't know about with this hurricane right now, but we'll try it. I'll go to low rates. Oh, flat turn, huh? A little discombobulated there a little bit, but there you go. Nice flat turn. Oh, you know what? I need slow rates for that. That's too fast. Once you get comfortable with them, it, it, you can fall out, but you just, you rescue them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. You just rescue them. Let's do a flyby, maybe a touch and go. It's a little windy for that, but. Is this on a 6S battery? Yeah. This is 6S 3300. Landing, touch and go. Runway's clear. It is blowing. Oh. Uh, okay. Do another one. What's your flight time on your 3300? About eight minutes, seven. I got it for seven, but I do usually two or three touch and goes or four at, at a half throttle. So, yeah, about seven minutes with a with a little spare time for for the landings. Yeah, I'm the same way. I like to have a little cushion on my timer. You never know when you need to do a go round. There it is. Oh, nice. Grease that All one right. in. And I got to leave it down because I am out of time. <laughs> That's quitting on top right there. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I my battery, uh, to be honest with you, I did not turn the switch on because I was waiting on you on the camera and I missed it. So I know it's time to uh, set it down. Nice flight, Dave. Nice Thank flight, Thank you, man. Dave. Thank you. Good job. All right, Shane, you're going to fly the sport. Tell us about it. Uh, probably my fifth or sixth flight on it since we've had it. This was a former RCVR airplane. Awesome sport airplane too, by the way. Yeah. Really good. Where are you going to, you going to go taxi I'm to the left? taxi off to the left. All right. Here it goes, taking off. Shane's taking off with a Tower Hobby Sport. Very nice. Look at that. All right, so this is a Tower Hobby Sport. Shane bought this from me and he's been flying it about his fifth flight. You know what I like about this plane, Dave? What's that? It's got uh, sport capabilities and looks that belong in a higher cost airplane. Yeah. I think if memory serves, I want to say this plane costs something like, I want to say 120 bucks, 130, not, it, it, something like that. Might be a little more these days. You, you couldn't beat that. No. 
it looks a lot like a plane that was used to be called the Skylark uh, back, you know, uh, the 80s, uh, early 90s. And it was, yeah, it looked almost like this. This is like the new version of that. I'm not saying it is, but it looked like it. Yeah, it's got a really nice roll weight for such a big wing. It's a 60 inch, would you call that a Hershey bar style wing? Yeah, Hershey bar. And, it flies uh, beautiful. Just a little touch of dihedral. And man, it flies great. And the other cool part is it's a kind of modest power system. It doesn't take a big beefy motor for this thing to fly awesome. Yeah, look at that. Very nice. That, that is the kind of plane I call the old style plane on a new wrap. You know, like the stick, it's square, it's easy to fix. It's beautiful. It's just the all terrain airplane. Like the Chaos, kind of along the lines of the Chaos. Yeah. Chaos being tapered wings though, but. Shane, do that flyby again, man. I was moving around a little too much. Try. There you go. Beautiful. Real nice. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, okay. <laughs> All right. I need a little more power. A little more power. Come on, Scotty. Do you have a stabilizer in here, Shane? Yep, I have one of the Hobby Eagle A3. Oh, good. Hobby Eagle. That's A3 nice. S4. Is it active right now? It is on, yes. I do have it on just because it's a little gusty today. And quite honestly, I don't think it necessarily needs it. I've it's such a big plane. Yeah, I don't really think it does need it. If my, if I recall, when I had this plane, I don't think I really, I may have had one, but I don't think I really flew with it. Those Hobby Eagle A3 Super 4s though, those definitely get my endorsement too. I like those a lot. They're real nice stabilizers. Very natural feeling. Now look at that approach. Nice. Oh, looks like he's coming in for a landing. Woo. <laughs> okay, okay, it rolled, you know. It did bounce on center line first time. You got three for the price of one. <laughs> Two, pool. three. Ah, oh, three again. Let's try one more time. Kind of stinks the way you were landing a while ago. Yeah. <laughs> He'll get it. Oh, he was landing that thing beautiful, nose high, just barely snooching the ground. That's the video pressure. Welcome to my life. Yeah, yeah. that's the video pressure. Nice right there. There you go. There you go. Minute. Ah! <laughs> Three, four. He beat his record. Uh, you out of battery uh, now? No, I think I have another minute left at least, but it's been easy flying, so probably two minutes. Okay. You must walk fast. Slow pass? You must walk fast. That's kind yeah. of a retro joke there. <laughs> You know, you taxi, there you go, beautiful. You taxi at the speed you walk. Yeah, well, they pretty much when you learn to fly, that's what they tell you. That's what they tell you. That's why I was telling him, you must walk very fast. All right, this is it. This is going to be the greaser. Four, three, two, one. Looking good. There you go. There you go. Nice, nice. Very there nice, is. very good. It is blowing, so that's wind. great. You that's great. It. Good job. Very nice. Way to go. Way to stick with it, Shane. Yeah, man. <laughs> Thank you. That looked good. Nice plane. Awesome airplane. Hey guys, we got a special little treat for you today. This is Ethan flying. This is Shane's son. The channel donated a Diatone Roma to Ethan. So Ethan's gonna take off with his new Diatone Roma 
and he's gonna run around the field and just do some barnstorming. So whenever you're ready, Ethan. And there he goes, he's off. This is his third flight on this quad. I want to look. <laughs> That's so awesome, man. He is ripping already. Very nice. There he is. I got him. Why don't you just go up and down the runway, dude? That is really good. Man, he's got total control over that quad. Like Dave said, he's, these are the future racers, future RC people. And he's doing a really good job with it. I'm, I'm impressed. How's your voltage looking? Uh, 15.2. Okay. Look at that, he's on goggles too. He's flying with the DJI uh, air unit goggles, but he's on analog mode because that's what the Roma is. It's an analog quad. Oh, that's nice and low. Very nice. <laughs> there's no trainer help here either he is completely in control i don't think shane you don't even have a radio on do you nope uh with the quads we've never had any kind of trainer mode he's uh taking it all on by himself look at that how's your voltage ethan it should be 14.7. All right, so bring her into land, okay? Oh, bring it a bit close, okay? There we go. Well, better than my last landing. Nice job, <laughs> Ethan. Thanks for flying dude. for us. That was awesome. Great job. Good job, buddy. Amazing. Are we good? All right, here we go. Take off. Hobie's first flight of his new PA Katana. Beautiful there airplane. There you go. It'll, and it'll just start flying all by itself. You saw that? I saw that. Yeah, man, I told you. Six minutes. Very nice airplane. Just want to see it calm down both directions. See, going downwind, it wants to sink a little bit. And if I turn and go upwind, See, it wants to dive a little bit into the wind. Five minutes. And that's all low rates, right? Yep, I'm on low rates. Okay, and low rates are comfortable? Low rates is all the way to me, correct? Yep. Yes, I am on low rates, Five and I'm. At, it takes very little stick movement, very little. It's more expo. Yeah, you, you might want to even trim the travel down a little bit. Because it, it it it's 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 easy on the sticks. Don't go okay. ham fist them. It for low rates it doesn't need almost any movement. You just yeah. barely see it move and it and it and it does a lot. Look at that. He's not even flying half throttle. <laughs> that's that's the PA plane. And you want less on the uh, aileron as well? Uh, the ailerons don't feel too bad. They feel pretty good. Okay. It's just the elevator is a little sensitive. All right, I'm going to reduce the throw in my elevator quick to 30%. Dave, you want me to take some weight or expo out? Give you take some weight out or add some expo for you? Um, um hang on, let me try one other thing. Let me see what the elevator. I haven't really used the elevator for anything but level flight. Let me pull on it a little bit. Yeah, it'll almost snap out on low. See it wanting to snap out right there. Mm -hmm. So you might want to cut the, the low right. throttle down, the tra travel down just a little. Okay, I did cut it down a couple percent. All right. Have you got your trims on course or fine? I think they're on course. Okay. Probably going to make a mental note to move yeah. your trims to fine when you come down. Because course is, one click of course is almost too much. Do an aileron roll just. Okay. There they go. 
saw that roll. So who's flying right now? Me. Shane. All right. It's just a little twitchy. Hobie, Hobie one Kenobi. Hobie's flying it. Yeah, there you go. It's just a little twitchy. Yeah, you got to cut back on the elevator, and you will see how different. It flies like a pattern plane. Look at the gorgeous afternoon. Yeah. Look at that. It's actually been warm out today. It's been like 80. 30, 29, wow, 28. nice. Nice. Is he going to land it? There it is. Very nice. There we go. Awesome job. Thank you. 11, You're very 10. welcome. Your, uh, your battery's done? No, the, uh, according to the timer. Man, put it on charge and lower those rates on that elevator so you can fly it again because you're going to love it. It is very twitchy right now. You're going to love it when you lower them. There's a little car right in the middle of the taxiway. There you go. Clear? Clear. Watch out, oh, Ethan. He's, he's got it. He's got it. All right. Is that low rates on the elevator? That's low. That's twice what I have on my XR. So probably half of that will be still good for low rates. Okay. Just a little over half. It's just a little bit on low rates. So I've made adjustments to this one. So elevator I brought down to 25%. Oop. All right, the second flight of the Katana, they brought it down and made some adjustments to the throws, and they're going to take ready? it up again. Yep. Okay, you have the airplane. Right, airplane. Change your plans. Change okay. taking off? Yep. Remember to give him the about half throttle, the plane's going to be flying. Like Dave said, I mm -hmm. just got up to about half throttle, and, and the it. airplane lifted off by itself. Okay. Did you have some elevator? I just had neutral. neutral. It just it just come off the ground by itself. It comes off the ground very light. There you go. <laughs> yeah. I took off my first PA plane like if it was a Cadet 40. Full throttle and it almost gave me a heart attack. It was uncontrollable. It took me a couple of flights to realize I only needed about a third of the motor. That's actually How flying pretty level now. Yeah, it looks a lot better. It looks a lot smoother. How does it feel? Yeah, it looks smoother. a lot smoother. Now it's, it's climbing, even though I didn't do anything. Very nice, downward. right? Yeah. And look at that. Beautiful. I knew it. That's a 6S2200 in there. See, it just sank by itself. Yeah. I wonder if that's just the air pockets. Just... Uh, it could be. Move the CG forward just a little bit so the elevator has a little bit less authority, and it might stop that little bobble in the wind direction. Uh, that's neutral. very freaking neutral. Yeah, it's neutral. a little tail heavy. Yeah, I, I, that's what I thought. Yeah. All right. Just the hair, I mean, it depends on how people like it. All right, Dave, you want to take over? I got it. All right, and then you can have some fun and bring it down when you're ready. Well, I don't know where that battery is. So yeah, let's... remember, this is the second flight on the same battery. Yeah, but we've been less than 50% throttle most of the flight. We haven't and pushed it. And that is it. how you're going to fly this airplane all the time. Yep. You only go up on the throttle when you want to ring it around for a second or two, and that's it. Because not even for hovering. Look at that. I should have brought my XR. Look at that, on the center I'm line. I'm jealous now. Ooh. On the there center There you line. go. <laughs> nice. Who did that one? Me. No. All right. <laughs> I wish. almost got the center line. That was yeah. Wolfie. Wolfie, take that one. You may need high rates to get a turnaround. There you go. We're used to the little runways. <laughs> yeah, I'm used to grass. Oh, right. there you go. I'm throttle cut. Okay. All right. Who's next? Down. He's got the little Katana 52. Oh, you got to fly that one too, I right? haven't got a receiver in that one yet. You must be happy. You must be doing about to do backflips with that airplane. That's a nice airplane. Man. Feels like summer right now. I'm sweating. Throttle That's cut. Nice <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Nice Appreciate airplane. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for helping me. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> I don't 
how much battery I got left. Nope. I'm still just I'm still flying. <laughs> Something just happened on mine. Something sounded like it popped. Are you on the ground? I'm flying still, but I'm coming in to see what that was all about. I didn't feel anything. Mine just went wonky, man. It sounded like something popped. Here comes the finish line. Okay. I'm down. Alrighty. <laughs> when when I when I heard it cut off, I just had to back off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I saw that. We didn't hit. No, I don't think we did. I didn't see nothing in my video. Oh uh, no, that's too much. Five minutes. Let's give five. Start. Oh, you're gonna okay. air taxi it, Dave? Throw ah? You're going to air taxi? Yeah, I, I like to do that. Throttle active. Low rate, okay. All right. We are taxiing. Dave's got some forward flight now. Look at that. Woo. Somebody's been practicing. That's what I'm saying. I, I, would, I, I, I didn't see this much action last time. Uh, all right, so it. what I want you to do, Freddie, is give me just a minute. Talk me through a roll. How do you do a roll? Um, just just tell me, give me a hold quick... Hold on, hold on now. Quick explanation. A loop or just a no, roll? No, a roll, a roll. Side roll? Yes, side roll. You, you throw it to the right and then you Are you going to attempt to do this while I walk you through it? Just just tell, let, tell let me it, how to do it. And let me we'll walk see. you through it first. Yep. All right. If you talk me through it, I'll do it. All right. Put, let me talk you through it first, then you do it. I, put it in the hover, straight in front of you. All right. Now, before you do your flip, you want to give it a tiny bit of positive collective. Okay. And then give it right aileron. And as it's coming around, when that um, blades are vertical with the, or horizontal to the ground, you'll be switching it. You should be neutral on your collective. Okay. And as it comes back around, you want to give it a little bit of negative. Okay. So basically, you're going to hit positive to a little bit of negative, back to positive as you hold your aileron right. Kind of like that. Perfect! Okay. Just like that! This guy's over here. Nice. This guy, he's over here trying to trick me, man. That's what he's doing. <laughs> you're, you're pretty good at following instructions, Dave. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Why do you think I got 26 years of happy marriage? <laughs> you're also a pretty good instructor, Fred. Look at him. Look at that, man. Dave. Wahoo. So you should be able to do that same thing forward and backwards now, Dave. Right? Forward? So what's the catch forward? Kind of like backwards is kind of like this. Yeah, look at this look guy. At that. Like Yo. that? Oh, I think someone found the helicopter section in the simulator. <laughs> simulator helps. And then forward, I guess it's kind of like this. Very good, uh -oh. Dave. I'm a little bogging. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Down. 
Clutch, oh. something happened with the motor or something. Did you hear it? Yeah, I heard, heard something let loose. Oh, man. What happened? I don't know. Walk of shame. Walk of something. shame. No, no. I'm actually happy because I can do it, but the thing failed. Yeah, something. Mechanical Electrical failure. failure or something something like went I heard out. a bog. Yeah. Mechanical failure. All it right. did. It did hit the ground straight though, so yeah, it just broke. it's not too terribly bad. Well, we can't end on that. We're gonna have to get a laser flight to end on then. All right, what happened, Dave? The pinion on the motor just slid down. I can't see. Right in there. So it, the pinion slid down on the motor shaft. Yeah, it slid down on the motor shaft. Disconnected and, from the main. Exactly, and look, I can turn the main without touching the pinion. Yeah, that's there good. you go. That's what it is. All right. Well, well we'll get that whip back together. But it's not too bad. It's just this arm is broke, and I got another uh, broke here and the landing gear, and I got parts for it to All repair right. it. So we're good. Um, that's such a shame because I was having fun with it. You look good. I was getting ready to do more stuff hey, with it. Showing <laughs> off out there. Oh, I was getting ready to do more <laughs> stuff. <laughs> <laughs>
That was lower. Still haven't done that inverted pass over the runway with the rudder dragon. Yeah, not, not on this <laughs> one. <laughs> That's looking solid. That's Whoa. a beautiful one, right? Yeah, there. you were maybe two or three feet over top of that pole out there. All right. That's all I can take. Beautiful. <laughs> My thumbs are dead. Dave, you're going to need to come and land the damn plane. <laughs> all right, we're on low rates. Here we come. In for the landing. We're still wetting pretty good over there, too. It's real tricky on the eyes. But motion, that's what helps in this case, the motion. Nice. What a great day. Thanks guys for coming out. Beautiful, nice. You're welcome. Really, really enjoyed, enjoyed it. my time with you all today. Nice day. Had a great day with everybody. Nice flying, nice guys, nice company. Very good. Yeah, I agree. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe and hit the bell. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy. All right. Hasta la vista. Later, folks. Later, folks. <laughs> Shane. Have a great one. <laughs> nice. All right. Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen.